Well, we've gone back and forth on pricing this thing a lot over the phone. I know. And he it's, is it's, crushing me on this one. But it's tough seeing, to let go. seeing this. You guys ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Well, good morning. Good morning. I was actually here first today. I'll let everybody know. Alex, let's clap. <laughs> <laughs> so for today on Coffee Walk, we actually got one that's close, which is fantastic. It's less than 10 miles from the shop. I've been talking to this guy for over six months, and the lead actually came in from one of your mom's best friends that she grew up with, which is kind of cool, who does that real estate. Cool. And it is a 1959 Volkswagen panel van that his grandfather bought brand new with incredible history. We're close on the price, so. I bet we can make it happen. <laughs> I think we can make it happen too, so get your cup of joe and let's go. Alex, where's your coffee? How are you? Great, great. This is up, man? Alex Bowling, Hello. Kelsey, Kelsey Collins. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's Charlie, my brother. Hi, Charlie. I'm Kelsey. Hi, Charlie. Nice Dennis Collins. Nice, nice to meet, to meet you, Charlie. You. Alex, then we got Zach on the camera. How you doing, Zach? All right, well, tell us a story. You told me on the phone, Hi. but it would be better coming straight from you. It's a 59 panel van. It belonged to my uh, son's uh, great-grandfather. Okay. He bought it back in 68, and he had it painted. It says Dale's Home Repair. He went all around Highland Park fixing houses and doing roof repairs, remodels. And then they parked it in 77, I heard they parked it. So great grandfather. Great grandfather, yep. All original. Last place is 72, I think. Yep. How about last inspection? And is the motor in it? The motor is in it. You gotta pull that side. Look at that. Over, it right? does turn over. I put a new battery in it. Um, it's just hard for me to work on it in the front, and then yeah. you know, <laughs> myself, you know, I couldn't pour gas down the carburetor. No. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got a little work area. I think that needs to be the new Colts Classics. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. You and Josh would be like <laughs> we're driving back and forth. What I heard. You know, the moss on it. That's extra. <laughs> no, I don't know. So, do you, do you clean that off or you clear over it? Clear it over. Yeah, it. That'd be cool. cool. So look at this. Uh, last inspection, seventy-one. So this thing was actually last on the road in seventy-one. Yep. They did put it on block, so it's set. The whole undercarriage is phenomenal. So the undercarriage is clean. Clean. So it's been in Dallas its whole life. It's been in Dallas, Fault Springs. Really? Yeah, over there, he uh, bought it when he lived over there off of like Dolphin and Thirty area. Yeah, I don't know where that is. Kenworth, Kenworth, or Kenmore or something over there. And he just drove around town, man. He uh, he did home repairs. He had you can see how old old it is. His phone number is TA four five three six six. So that's a, a four digit phone number. Then they went to seven, and now it's ten. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. That shows you how old it is and how much. But you said he did all, he specialized in Highland Park area. Right? Highland Park, just think. But he he had a hard time because this thing only goes thirty miles an hour. You know what I mean? <laughs> so he was going up and down these hills, and then he he finally bought something bigger. That's really cool. Painting, roof repairing, major minor, or minor major repairs. or minor repairs. Got to clean. clean One out. call does it all. And Dale's Home Repair. The fact is, that that stayed on there for since the '70s. And his name is Dale. Is Dale? They ran the company. Him. Um, it was Dale's Home Repair, and then his sons got old enough, and they turned it into Dale and Sons Roofing and Home Home Repair, and they still run the business to this day. That door does. I could never get it to open, but the other side does. Yeah, let's look at it. what kind of paperwork do you have. I have. We'll get all the paperwork out in the truck. Let's see if we can get that passenger door open, Alex. That'll be a plus. Look at the mall on this side. This is pretty cool. 
doing a heavy miles over yeah. here. All right, let's see what the paperwork is, and then we'll see if the numbers are right. Original paperwork, 19, this one he bought it was in 68. I guess he bought it used, but it has 30,000 original miles on it. Let's get it open. But he kept all the registrations, original title. Titles don't look like that no more. Okay, so that, yeah, it's index card title, which is really cool. But this, I think, is going to be the second title. And this is when he filed a lien on it. So this is when he actually bought it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you something you don't know. What's that? He actually bought this new. Did he really? Yep. 622 of 59. Oh, uh, okay. So Snuffy Smith <clears throat> was the VW dealer in Dallas. A lot of people don't know that. Didn't know that. Uh, but what Snuffy Smith was, he kind of end around the Volkswagen store. Yeah. And he brought in export brand new VWs. So if you look at this, it's got the trafficator lights on it. Mm -hmm. That would not have been a US VW. See, that's crazy. But if it's a 59, which, you know where the M plate is on this? Yeah. Because I want to show you something. You know how everything's got trim tags, VIN tags? Remember what they're called on these? Mm -hmm. M plate. M plates. Okay. So flip up the passenger seat, see if the M plate's there. That's random. So, and period yeah you know, washington's name right yep he was actually the original, original owner. owner okay so this is a sec this title has been titled again because he borrowed money on it right so let's see that's where he borrowed money so if you look at this this is 1968 he borrowed 1800 dollars on it yep which thing holds its value well because he bought it brand new and he only paid for, for 1995 yeah is the number there yes okay so is it four two eight seven thirty seven Outstanding. Original. Yeah. That's Very crazy. cool. So I think I, I saw some keys sitting here. Did you see the keys out? It's, it's here. Okay, let's open this up. Uh, you got another key too? Or is it just this, this one? That one's in the ignition. Oh, okay, it's broken uh, off in yeah. there. If you put that in there, it'll turn it. Oh, will it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very cool. So that is some crazy cool paperwork. Yeah, they kept everything. So the last registration was 72. So he bought it new, used it for 13 years, and that was it. Yeah. 30, wow. I think it has right under 40,000 miles. I'll have to look at it. Let's see. But I think it's like 38,000 miles on it. Well, we've gone back and forth on pricing this thing a lot over the phone. I know. And he it's, is it's, crushing me on this one. But it's tough seeing, to let go. Seeing this, it's tough to let I'm, go. I'm just going to pay you what you want for yeah. it. Yeah. Deal? It's tough to let go, man. <laughs> That's super cool. That's cool. Where are you going to find another one, you know? A one owner one? I don't think you're going to. That is really, really neat. So, what do you think, Alex? Are the brakes locked up? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> I haven't messed them with it. Trying to figure out what this is. Doorknob. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, how would you, you know what I mean? Look at that, that's I have how. No idea. <laughs> doorknob. Doorknob. Sledge. Old, old fashioned doorknob. What well, is that? That's for sure. I've never seen anything like that. Uh uh. That looks overly complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like when a car just needs battery and gas to run, you go ahead and pull the motor out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Done that plenty Good times. grief. Yeah, that's pretty that's, that's pretty cool. neat. It's really yeah. cool. It's a cool van, man. It does turn over. It wants to fire. I just need somebody to pour gas in the carburetor while I turn it over. <laughs> a lot of the reason I really wanted this fact it's been in Dallas its whole life, and yeah. the biggest problem with these vans, I mean, it's got some rust in this corner here, but that's where the, or the bottom are the bottoms. That's where the battery yeah, set for since the '70s, yeah. and, and finally the battery just killed it. That's yeah, the they're dug in the dirt like we normally drag out. Yeah, when we pulled up and this thing was just, just sitting on the concrete, I'm like, wow. Make it easy on us. Well, I hate hauling stuff. I hate hauling stuff backwards when we only have to go ten miles. You should have seen where I pulled it out of. <laughs> that is really cool. Wow. I don't know. I'm almost, I'm almost with you. You clear over the moss. That's five, five <laughs> coats of clear coat. That man. is so five cool. Coats. But you know the, the paint on the side of it's good enough. I was about to say I. If you cleared that, you could probably still read it. I bet you yeah. could. That would be. I would not take that off. That would be stellar. If y'all had left that on, 
did something with it. What else we could do is, you know, Daniel Gay, our guy that always comes and does all the pins dropping and everything, he also does this kind of work. He could just kind of touch it up a little bit. Just the, sp just the, could bring the letters it up to and see the numbers it. that have yeah. nothing left. Yeah. Just like to this? touch up little corners of it, yeah. I mean, he could touch... It wouldn't oh, go over so all cool. of it. I think restore this would be a crime. What do you think? I wouldn't. Yeah. I'd leave it like that. Between, just get it right in, drive and do all the mechanical on it. Clear. Between them, man. That's where everybody's going towards these days. They're trying to get this look, mm -hmm. and you can't. Yeah, I mean, and you can tell it even by the photo where it's not like it's a... We should try to back in that or just to here. I would probably put it on there backwards. That's my theory. That's what I did with it. Key's in it, Junior. Cool. Here's the doorknob, Alex. <laughs> That's neat. All right, let's get you paid, sir. All right. I'll put this in my pocket so you know I got the title. Yep. Mossy Oak ain't got nothing on that. <laughs> That's some crazy That's patina. Yeah. All the little rubber bumpers are still in all the doors. That's crazy. Never did tank on this side either. Major and minor, one call does it all. All right. Well, thanks for taking all my calls and all You're my welcome. texts and all the harassment. We won. Yeah, I got a call. I got a call from him last night at like 8:30. I'm eating dinner. He's not supposed to call me about cars past seven. Oh, so man. I knew it had to be good. He's like, "Do you remember that van?" <laughs> yes. We got it. <laughs> we got it. We're off. All right. Thank you, sir. Anything else cool comes up, give me a call. Let me know, man. Like, keep me in the loop on this. I'd love to see it when you well, do something. You know where it'll be. Yeah. We're off. Have a great day. Bye, thank well, you. Thanks. Nice to meet you. You too. Y'all have a good day. VW panel van sold new in Dallas. Yeah, it was awesome. Well, it took an hour and a half. Get you some of that. Please like, tag, share, and follow, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a great day.